During the pandemic, Pope Francis has been at the forefront of calling world leaders and societies to remember the poor and marginalized. Renuevo el llamado a los responsables políticos y al sector privado a que tomen las medidas adecuadas para garantizar el acceso a las vacunas contra el COVID-19 y a las tecnologías esenciales necesarias para atender a los enfermos. Y si hay que privilegiar a alguien, que ese sea el más pobre, el más vulnerable, aquel que normalmente queda discriminado por no tener poder ni recursos económicos. These poor countries do not have the means to uh, pay the vaccines. So there, it's difficult for them to have access to vaccines. And if the vaccines come, then the priority does not go to the poorest. So how are we going to ensure that the poorest have access to vaccine will be one major challenge. While vaccine production and distribution in early 2021 is still unfolding most rapidly in the richest nations on earth, Vatican officials and other groups are trying to explain that the pandemic will not end unless a majority of the global population has received immunization. As the Pope said, how sad it will be that the vaccines will be first available for the rich. So we are calling for universal vaccination. If one per person is not safe, nobody is safe. The, vac the universal vaccination works if at least 70% of the population is vaccinated. Otherwise, it won't work. Even while Pope Francis and others stress the need for greater international cooperation, some observers worry that the race to procure vaccines has instigated new competitiveness between nations. The United States is not sending vaccines to Canada or Mexico. It's not even lending them. It's not, it doesn't, you know, it's not, it's not relevant. They won't do it. No one will ask them to do it. In Europe, they're having a huge fight. The European Union criticized Moderna for um, preventing vaccines that were meant to be for Europe and allowing them to go to the UK. So there's what's called vaccine nationalism all around the world. Other challenges to achieving widespread vaccination, aside from the logistical and financial challenges of production and distribution, are the fears that the vaccines are not safe. I have my fears and concerns about the vaccine, like everybody else, because everybody is afraid of the outcome of the vaccine and whether or not the vaccine will have any effects sometime later, you know, a year from taking the vaccine, two years, three years. We don't know. We, it's all like, it's an, we're in limbo. Donations from wealthy countries and private foundations will fund the vaccines for poorer countries using a large group purchase by the COVID-19 Vaccines Global Alliance Access Facility, or COVAX. The wealthier COVAX partners will purchase their doses outright. COVAX has not yet received uh, the full funding necessary, far from it. And uh, so what we call on the governments to, to please speed up, hurry up and fully fund COVAX because this is a very structured way of, and I think also our best uh, bet to quickly make available vaccines in the poor countries. Davanti a un nemico subdolo e imprevedibile, qual è il COVID-19? La accessibilità dei vaccini deve essere sempre accompagnata da comportamenti personali responsabili, tesi a impedire il diffondersi della malattia attraverso le necessarie misure di prevenzione a cui ci siamo ormai abituati in questi mesi. Sarebbe fatale riporre la fiducia solo nel vaccino, quasi fosse una panacea che esime dal costante impegno del singolo per la salute propria e altrui.